All right, welcome. We're gonna make a cake. I don't know if this video is gonna work because as we said last time, there have been problems. So I just got this cake mix and water, oil, three eggs. So I put the water in, put the oil in, three eggs, not in yet. I need three eggs, so I'll do that. And I'm just gonna mix it up. Now, let me tell you a little secret about making cakes. Do not use a blender. Blender is useless. And also, um, I sifted. I sifted this cake mix. I don't have a proper sifter, but I used a colander. It's good enough. Break down some of those lumps. And rule number three, which I'm not following right now, if you've noticed what I'm doing, is have your stuff ready. Have everything ready before you start. Measure it out. Whoops. I measured out the water and the oil. I sifted the cake. I threw it in. Now I'll break these eggs into the mixture. Um, yeah. And then I'll show you how to actually make a proper cake. I also should have greased the pans prior to starting, which I also did not do, but that's it. I was shagging around with other things. And uh, yeah, a bit of planning makes a big difference, which I did not do as I just mentioned. So anyway, Three eggs. Uh, what is it? Cup and a quarter of water, I believe, and a third of a cup of oil. I just got a bowl and a spoon, and I'm gonna mix this up. This is a white cake. I don't know what that means. I had the option of a chocolate cake, which I do know what it means, and a white cake. I hope it's not one of those angel food cakes, but maybe that's what it is, I don't know. But I think that's different. Quite honestly, that's mixed enough. You don't want to over mix it. You don't, the sugar dissolves. You don't need the sugar dissolved. You're just making a mixture. If the sugar gets too dissolved, your cake is going to get too glassy. If you don't know what that means, I don't really know how to explain it any better, but anyway. I'm happy with this. They say mix it for two minutes with a mixer. My God. If you want to ruin your cake, mix it for two minutes with a mixer. And then it says, or use a spoon, beat vigorously for two minutes or something. You don't need to. Give it about 60 or 70 stirs with a spoon and it's good to go. Now, unfortunately, as I told you before, I should have greased the uh, pan. I do not have a wooden spoon. That's not exactly true. I do have wooden spoons that previous tenants left in houses, but I don't really enjoy using uh, secondhand cutlery and whatnot, so for all intents and purposes, I do not have a wooden spoon. Now, what I should have done is, uh, if I had a wooden spoon, I wouldn't have to worry. This spoon, although it's big, is kind of slipping into the, uh, slipping into the thing there. Bit of raw egg, never hurt Rocky Balboa, so. Anyway, now I'm gonna grease the pans. I'm using uh, Mazzola vegetable oil. Uh, obviously the oven's preheated now, which means I'm behind schedule. Because um, usually when I do this, I have all this done before the oven heats and then I just pop it in, but I'm kind of, I haven't made a cake in a while and I'm kind of uh, behind on a few things. 
All right, how to grease a pan. I'm just going to take a little piece of parchment paper. I could use, uh, I was going to use some butter, but uh, usually I use butter. So I'll just use butter. Why not? Take a bit of parchment paper, get a little bit of butter, and just Zamboni this around like you're cleaning the ice. Now, you gotta get the sides too. I'll use a little bit more butter than this. And then I'll show you the second secret to baking a cake. There's three secrets to baking a cake. Baking secret number one, sift your ingredients. Uh, baking secret number two, do not over mix. So basically don't listen to the instructions. And baking secret number three is gonna come up when I show you how to uh, smash the bubbles out of the pans. If you follow these three rules, your cakes will be perfect. Now, there's a bit of snobbery around baking cakes, which I really don't understand, and I've experienced it several times. And the snobbery is this. If you say, oh, I baked you a cake, and then, oh my God, that's amazing. And then you say, yeah, it's out of a box. Oh, a box cake, yeah. Okay, whatever. Now, this is very puzzling to me because basically the difference between baking a cake from scratch and baking a box cake is measuring out your own ingredients. Yes, I can buy a bag of flour. I can buy a bag of sugar. I can buy a box of baking soda. I can measure out the ingredients myself. It's not brain surgery. We're not talking rocket science here. Or I can get it that somebody else a computer and a machine measured out and prepackaged it. I don't need a 20 pound bag of flour sitting around the house. I make a cake once a year. I don't need a bunch of ingredients that I've got to go, oh my God, I better use these ingredients. I don't want a big bag of flour sitting around or a bag of sugar. So my point is Several times, it's, it's strange, several times it's happened to me where, oh yeah, I baked a cake. Oh, why? That's really impressive. Yeah, from a box. Oh, well, any fool can do that. Yeah, because it sure is hard measuring out a couple of cups of, of flour and a few cups of, uh, a cup of sugar and, a, you know, some baking soda, that's, that's real. That's where the difficulty arises. So anyway, that's my little peeve about the whole cake process and people's nonsense. Because to me, that just makes no sense. Anyway, I have a little uh, scraper. This is what preparation is all about. Have your scraper out, have your thing. This one is broken. Again, it's been a long time since I've done any of this, but it's basically ready now. My only regret is that this hasn't been ready. Whoops, crier to um, prior to the heating of the oven. I like to time it generally where um, as soon as the oven heats, this is all done and it's ready to just throw in, but that's not the case for today. Oh well, looks like I'm gonna have to get caveman style. I don't know where my cake scraper thing is, so, whoops.
I'll do it caveman, poor man style, and wipe it out with this thing. No odds. This is the filthy kitchen. I am the squatchman. The dog is happy. What more do you want? He's a happy dog. All right. How to bake a cake. I'm surprised. This video might shut off. As you know, I've been having trouble with the memory on this phone. So bear with me if this video shuts off all of a sudden. Mid-sentence. There's a high probability that that will happen today. All right, that looks about even. Again, I'm not splitting atoms here. This is not rocket science. This is not brain surgery. The dog is impressed. Okay, secret number three. How to bake a cake properly, coming up. Here's what you do. The gold panning method. You shake these around like so. And bang it. Trust me, you're gonna wanna do this. This is the key. Gets the bubbles out. Allows the bubbles to go to the top. You're going to want to do this a few times. You see the bubbles breaking. All right, that's it. Then, where's that box? I think it goes in for 34 minutes in an eight inch pan. Excuse me, 29 to 34 minutes. So I'll just pop these in, middle of the oven, one, and two, I could have shaken them around and broke some more bubbles, but obviously you need more patience than I'm currently exhibiting. Set the timer, 10, 20, 30. I'll put it in for 32 minutes. You can always leave it in longer or not. Anyway, this video is getting long. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll show you the cake after, we'll ice it, and then I'll show you when I'm Someone's actually eating the cake. So till next time, who loves you, baby? This guy, don't forget about it. Love you and goodbye. How to bake a cake. Three secrets.